What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Evolution Everton. It has been a week since the last video because I did 15 minutes of 6 p.m. content last Friday and almost died about five times recording that video, to be honest with you. If I still sound a little bit stuffy, I can only apologize, but I'm feeling like 90% now. Basically better. Still got a bit of a chesty cough, still a bit stuffy, but otherwise fine. So we're back, we're here, and Golazo is here, which, bit of a tin pot name for a promo, but I think the cards look pretty cool. Celebrate the true essence of the beautiful game through Golazo heroes and Golazo icons. By every time I say Golazo, it just sounds even stupid. It's like that thing on in between us. Is this a word? Is it? Yes. Council. Anyway, reliving the goals that define their career and memorable celebrations that followed. Earn a Golazo icon via objectives and score goals across the Ultimate Team game modes to earn unique rewards, log in daily, blah, 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 blah. All right. So there's a couple of things I know about this promo. One is Dava Ginola has a Golazo card because people kept tweeting me. Two, apparently there's an Aloe Iron because someone in my chat just said. And three, apparently there's a Van Persie because he's right there. Oh my god, in that Van Persie is an objective. Technical plus finesse plus. That looks pretty good. So basically what we're going to do today is a bit of a catch up for you guys. I've done a couple of little bits whilst I've been on the couch, whilst I've been feeling a little bit better and just making sure I don't fall too far behind. But... Essentially nothing. We've still got the team with Beckham that I bought and checked, so we've probably lost loads of coins there. So a crap loads of fodder, which as far as I know hasn't gone up in price, so we might just cash that out. And we've got a Danjuma, because I bought one of them and played a couple of games of qualies in case I wanted to play foot champs this weekend. And other than that, I just got loads of stuff to show you guys and loads to go through with this promo. So I guess first things first. Oh, the other thing I was doing is Evo and a Kanji. So this is our first Evo that isn't an Everton player because it wasn't possible to put an Everton player into this Evo. It was free. We have the Akanji, and he looks really, really good. So there he is. I've got six hours, so I need to finish this today to just play three more squad battles, and we get an upgraded showdown Akanji, which is class, because he's ridiculous. Still got this Calvert-Lewin chilling here. You can actually... EA have fixed Evos, by the way. They fixed the Evo glitch, because I had a Richarlison Founders 2 that was just chilling there, and I completely forgot to do the objectives for it. And I kept saying to myself, oh, I'll do the next week, oh, I'll do the next week, I'll do the next week. And never got around to doing it, especially because last two weeks I've basically done nothing. And it auto-claimed. So it's gone. i had done... It just, it just disappears. Like, it wasn't a case of, oh, you haven't finished these challenges properly. So I think they fixed the Evo bug? And they fixed it in the way that they should have fixed it ages ago, initially. None of this stupid, you can't put an in-progress card. None of this stupid glitch where if you quick sell a card and bring it back, it's no longer able to be evoed and they've stopped being able to evo more than one player or anything like that. It just auto-claims now, which is great. Obviously not my Calvert-Lewin because I did this ages ago. But I think if I didn't finish a kanji and just left them on this stage, in six hours, this would disappear and it would just auto-claim and be stuck as he is currently like this now, forever. Which is pretty good. I like that. They've actually finally fixed it. They've had so many stupid workarounds. They've broke other things. But it seems like finally they've done it. So we should be hopefully getting some good Evos. My only frustration with it, and it's more of a, oh, what was me, cry cry thing, because it is it is cheating, really, is they brought out a... Where is it? Silky Sends Half. I'm pretty sure my Jared Bramthwaite, without me claiming Jockey Plus, would have been eligible for this because it doesn't have the not in progress thing anymore because they fixed it. So you can just put in progress cards into this. And I'm pretty sure Bramthwaite would have been able to go into it and he would have been able to get two playstyle pluses. So Evos to look at as well, which is exciting. We have got, did any new Evos come out last night actually? Because I have been keeping tabs on them and having a look at them. So like, obviously we don't care about Legends of the Pitch. Jack of all trades, we've got like a week or to go and the foot birthday ones and stuff like that. Let's have a little think about this secret stuff is okay. There was one. These skill wing defense ones are okay. There was one that gives this one. Tricky Ricardo is interesting because we can put in Dobbin and just get him five star, five star, which is class. And it gives him another play style plus. It basically makes him uneligible for any of our Evos because he's got two play style pluses. But he looks pretty good to be fair. It's a five star, five star Lewis Dobbin. Ping pass plus. Yeah, dead ball plus is dead, quite literally. 
The only thing I'd say about Dobbin is his composure and reactions are bad, but you would assume that if they ever brought an Evo to fix that, it wouldn't matter what playstyle pluses they've got and what rating they are, so long as he's got less than 80 composure and reactions, they might give him plus 10. So that could be something to do, get ourselves a 5-star, five 5-star five Lewis Dobbin. We could also get ourselves a 5-star, five 5-star five star Landon Donovan as well, again with two playstyle pluses. So I guess let me know in the comments section, we've got 14 days to decide this one, and it does cost 250k. So let me know in the comments if you think we should do it, and if so... Who should we do it on? Which player should we put in? Maybe there's going to be like some crazy combo that we can do with the new Evos coming out. So we've got Birthday Magic. Actually looks really good on Inform Luckman. Past and present heaven. Maybe we should pick him up. Silky Center Half is unfortunately the one that we can't put on our brown face because he just about misses out. React Radioactive Dynamo. Two play style pluses and plus 16 rating. Neil Mope! Five star skills, Neil Mope. That's pretty funny for past and present Evan. I have had a little nose of this one. There's not anyone crazy for it. We could maybe do Ross Barkley. There is Kieran Dowell, I think, as well. There's two of them, isn't it? One of them has to be not. One of them has to be a centimid, and one of them can't be a centimid. Is this the one? That, yeah, this is the one Barkley goes into. He's got. He's already got five star weak foot, I think. Ross Barkley, which is a bit annoying. But, you know, he gets two play style pluses, and that's literally it. And his stats look kind of average, but it's free. So I guess we may as well do it. Let me know what you think about this as well, because this is the pro- Ooh, that looks spicy! Wait, Evo a Golazo hero, Peter Crouch. Ooh, all right, we've got to- I mean, I know there's a Janola. I'm pretty sure they're not going to let you Evo Janola, because that guy is already- like, his SPC is 2 mil. So, let's jump in and see what ones we've got. And get a reaction to the squad. There's icons and heroes, so I don't think there'll be a Rooney. There could be a Lineker, I guess. I mean, there could be a Rooney for that volley. The crazy one where he got annoyed at the ref and then just absolutely thunderbasted it into the top corner. We've then got Cahill for his goal in the World Cup. Could be quite cool, Tim Cahill. We've got Ginola, which I know is one. Lineker... I don't know if Eto? Would, could there be an Eto? All right, let's let's go for it. Let's have a look. That's probably the best thing to do. So if I go to Galazzo Hero, put it on concepts, we've got Alawiran. 99 pace. <laughs> How do you have 99 pace but 98 acceleration? Come on, yeah, just give him 99, 99. That looks pretty mental. He's got Finesse Plus and Rapid Plus. Five star skills as well, bloody hell. Berbatov with pace. And high medium work rates and five star skill moves. Wow, that looks cool. Cola, anticipate and block. All right, that is nice. There's Ginola. Five star, five star. Travella plus, technical plus, 92 rated. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know how much this guy costs. I know there is one because people have been tweeting me him. I am almost certain. There is absolutely no chance I'm ever going to be able to afford this card just based on the price of some of the promos. But we'll have a look. Oh, there's, ooh, ooh, there's two Alawirans. <gasps> Maybe there'll be two Janolas. And because they've got the same playstyle pluses, he's just got less stats. Oh, if there's two Janolas, we might be able to afford the cheap Janola because there's two Cola. Two fr oh, there's the two of all of them. There's Dempsey. No. Oh, we a. Now, there's Crouchy, one Crouch, one Dempsey, one Ginola, and the rest of them have got two. Oh, you pain in the ass. Let, let's see how much he is. Now, price prediction from me. I know his SBC costs about 2 to 2.5 mil for his triple threat. I know his triple threat then on the market is about 2 million coins, I think. So I, for this one, 96, 90, 90, 94, bloody hell. What is this compared to his other cards? Let's see how good my ball knowledge is. David Ginola. Plus one, plus one, plus two on the technical stats, plus two physical, plus five pace and a Travella plus. Does he have extra play styles as well? Rel oh my God, he's got Relentless as well. Five mil. I'm going to guess five mil. <laughs> he's six... 0.2 million coins, EA. Are oh, you mental? <sighs> I 
There's a lot of stuff we could talk about, and we've I kind of spoke about this on the Fort Weekly podcast a little while ago. The I don't want to go into it and just start moaning too much here because I am excited that we got a Janola cards and stuff like that, but it's a bit silly in it. Like the the, the jump from I'm assuming some of the other ones just underneath them are like 100. In fact, I'm going to check all the prices. Let me go on Fudgy G and have a look. Let me get the squad up. Oh, no, let, before we do that, before we get spoilers, let's have a look at the icons. Cruyff. Oh, there's actually not very many. Cruyff, Cafu, Bobby Charlton. Wow, that card looks insane. Five star weak foot as well. Prince, Aerial Plus, and he 510. Xabi Alonso, staying at Leverkusen as well, which is kind of crazy. Ashley Cole, technically. He's past and present Evan, but he was only the coach. And the Van Persie you can get from our objective, which is pretty cool. Again, I assume this Cruyff's like 15 mil. Let's have a look. Let me get the squad up. Li Cruyff is literally 15 million coins. He's extinct. Brilliant. Alawiran is 1.8. All right, that's not too bad. And then cheap Alawiran, 700k. As we said, Janola's 600. 6 million, sorry, not 600. Dempsey's 24k. Berbatov is 25k. Francescoli, 24k. Cola, 50k. Over Francescoli, 100k. Oh, better Berbatov's 300. I don't know, the jump is just, ash, like, insurmountable. You just can't do it. You can't be somebody whose team has good Berbatov or good Francescoli or whatever it may be and be like, I want to upgrade these players. Oh, never mind. You need another 14.6 million. Mad. All right, so I guess we'll be finishing the Janola SPC because we're never going to be able to afford that, unfortunately. As good as it does look, unless we pack it. Other things we've got. We've been doing the objectives for the St. Patrick's Day whilst we've been doing the squad battles for Akanji. So I've been being smart about it. Let's jump over to the objectives and take a little look. Oh, there we go. We did seven here as well. I was smart. We got eight premium gold players packs. Sure. Okay. And we've got some coin boosts and XP and packs and all that sort of stuff. I'm very, very behind on the season rewards, like stupidly behind, because I just haven't really been on the game, to be honest with you. We've missed out. We're going to miss out on the two red picks this season as well, because I simply don't have enough games left. I think if I went 20 and 0, if I went 20 and 0, I think I could do it, <laughs> just about. But I don't think that's going to happen. I missed a whole week and I haven't even started this week yet. So we'll have to see about that one. But we should get to this one. The daily login for... For birthday, I think I missed quite a few of them, unfortunately, as well. But it's back for Galazzo, so they said. Daily play birthday, daily play birthday completionist. I did it once, as you can see. There's St. Patrick's Day, which you need to finish off. Birthday cup, whatever. Robin Van Persie Jr. Okay, so they're going to bring another Robin Van Persie out. Presumably into packs. Maybe it's an SBC. Oh, we haven't checked the SBCs to see which ones are the SBCs. Galazzo Goal Hunter, Galazzo Extravaganza. There's Crouch. Score 10 goals in the cup. All right. He's interesting for the new meta, anyway, with the cross and stuff like that. Okay. That's pretty cool. Let's go and have a look at the SBCs and the content. And then I guess I can maybe jump into some foot champs. Maybe bid you guys farewell. I don't know. Oh my God. Striker Vinicius Jr. Holy moly. Why are you obsessed with giving people Traveller Plus? It, this actually really annoys me, to be honest with you. That Janola card's got it. This Vinicius Jr. card's got it. It's like they want to give somebody two playstyle pluses, but they don't really want to actually give them two playstyle pluses. So they give one that they've nerfed into the ground to the point where it's not really very useful having. Berbatov's got it. Janola's got it. Vinicius Jr.'s got it. I don't know. Like, Finesse, I think Finesse is still good. Uh, Finesse is very viable, actually. Like, you guys know how much I love Queen Claudia. But... Travellers just doesn't really do anything. In, a lot of the time, actually, Travellers don't even trigger when you ask them to. They do the stupid spin-round back heel thing. It's very annoying. Anyway, this Socrates is absolutely insane, by the way. I used them for a squabble of the showdown. Outrageously good card. To the point where I'm tempted to do him on the road to glory. He's that good. I'm hoping that Ginola will be of similar levels. Although he doesn't have the two play style pluses on the one for the SBC. There's a Rebri out. Alawiran. Okay, so yeah, so look. So this Alawiran's got the little down arrow above his 90, which Robin Van Persie does. And Alawiran's got a better card. Which would assume, make you assume that there's going to be a better Robin Van Persie that comes out. 84 times 5s are still there. There's Ginola. We've done... 
the 85 squad and an 87 squad and a 90 squad. Okay, so we're getting there. Only only 13 more squads to go. <laughs> But, I mean, he still looks good, doesn't he? Let's be honest. He's still got almost 90 in every stat. He's still 6 foot 1 with 5 star, 5 star, and technical plus. So, we're going to get him. Yoshida Birthday. Luke de Young. Playing with Lewandowski. That Quadrado is quite good, but we don't need another right back. It's, oh, actually, I tell you, we might need another right back. One of the best SBCs this year is Reese James. This thing doesn't cost very much. And is crazy. So we might actually have to pick him up just for the squads, just because he's such good value. We then got an Evan Ferguson, who's like 20k, and we don't really care about Shevchenko. Leo Williamson's cool. She's only like 20k as well. I guess if we just get dupe fodder, we can just chuck it into stuff like this. And other than that, content seems pretty good, to be honest with you. No complaints from me. I am coming at it with a bit of a fresh attitude because I haven't really played this game for almost two weeks. But to get this video up for you guys as quick as possible today basically so hello it's saturday happy easter for tomorrow i think i'm just gonna leave it there i think we're just gonna jump out it's been good i'm looking forward to working on van persie i guess to finishing off my evo with a kanji to going and doing some studying about what the best combos are for the new evos that have come out for everton players and seeing what you guys and letting you guys help me choose for Dobbin or Donovan, if we're spending a quarter of a mil to get them five star, five star, let me know down in the comment section. And yeah, for now, welcome back. The road to go is back. Career mode will be starting soon as well, which I'm very excited for. I think I'm going to do Everton manager career mode again because I did really enjoy that last time. And I think there's some new stuff added to it as well. So that'll be exciting. Yeah, I'll see you guys. Videos will be back. Sorry for the big break. I've been very sick, but I'm feeling a lot better now. And we'll be back on the roll. I'll see you in some more videos. I can't even speak. I'll see you in some more vids.